Welcome to Sauce Labs, where we help you test at the speed of awesome. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to run a manual test with Sauce Labs and send the results to Jira's issue tracking software using the Sauce Labs Jira plugin. I've already logged into Sauce Labs, and I'll start my manual test by clicking the New Manual Test button on the left rail of the Sauce Labs dashboard. I'll enter saucelabs.com as my URL since I'm going to test the functionality of the hamburger menu on the Sauce Labs homepage. Sauce Labs lets me choose from more than 700 browser and OS combinations for my test environment and even saves the combinations I used for previous tests so I can easily select them again. I'll set up a new environment for this test using Firefox 44 running on Windows 10 at 1024 by 768 resolution. I can also use Sauce Connect Proxy, Sauce Labs optional secure tunneling tool if my target URL is located behind a firewall or isn't otherwise publicly accessible. SauceLabs.com is a publicly accessible website, so I'll start my test by clicking the Start Session button. And the instant I click the button, Sauce Labs starts launching a virtual machine to run the browser and operating system combination I requested. And Sauce Labs always spins up new, pristine VMs in the cloud, so I never have to worry about residual test data causing false results. Once my manual test is up and running, I also have controls at the top of the window that let me expand the test to full screen, take a snapshot, copy to and from the remote clipboard, and invite others to watch the testing session. So now I can perform my test, which is to verify the functionality of the hamburger menu. I'll click the menu button, and I can see that I immediately get a dropdown that presents me with a lot of options for accessing other pages on saucelabs.com, which is exactly what the hamburger menu is supposed to do. So now that I've successfully tested the menu's functionality, I can end my test session. That takes me back to my dashboard's manual test tab, where I can see that my test is finishing up. My test session is now complete, so I can click the session link to view the test details page. This is where I can see my test parameters, along with a video of my test, detailed Selenium and JSON test logs, and my test metadata. So that test session went really well. But if I had found a bug in my code, I could have easily shared that information using the Sauce Labs Jira plugin. With just the click of a button, the plugin lets me create a Jira issue and then attach a screenshot of the test in action and links to the test video and logs, saving a ton of my time while also giving the dev team everything they need to look into the issue. And that's it. With Sauce Labs, it's that easy to manually test your web and mobile apps on any browser and OS combination imaginable and integrate test results with Jira. Ready to get started running your manual tests with Sauce Labs? Then sign up for a free trial today.